everyone. Welcome to another episode of Urbex. Today I'm over here in Florence, Kentucky. I believe this is still Florence, Kentucky. Anyways, it's the uh, Kentucky side of the Cincinnati area to check out the grand opening of the boot barn here. Um, their grand opening ceremony was probably yesterday. I got all kinds of conflicting information as to when they were holding their grand opening. Apparently they're doing events all weekend long. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday today is Saturday, but you can see they got the radio station set up back there. They got the banners and we're gonna go check this store out. And Deb from work is joining me on this episode and she's gonna be awesome. So say hi everyone to the awesome person, Deb. Hi. Sure so, yeah, so this boot barn looks different compared to the one that's by my house. The one that's by my house is all like a, a red color. There's the grand opening banners. My camera looks kind of hazy. Hang on, let me fix that. Yeah, so this is the grand opening sale. We're going to compare this to the one that's by my house. I know I haven't done a video on the one by my house, but um, yeah, it looks very similar. Ooh, look at this. We got the, the balloons up here. Ooh, look at they look like bird eggs, those balloons. And of course, they've got live music off and on all day today and Sunday. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at all the boots. These are amazing. I don't recall this many boots at the one by my house. Um, it's over on the um, Mason Montgomery Road in uh, Deerfield. These are some amazing boots. These boots are amazing. You're you're with someone who is very out there and films things. So what do you expect? <laughs> okay, so when I was in Texas, yes, I I saw more, but that's obvious. Yeah, even some of these shoes are kind of nice. I kind of like these. These are like like a Native American pattern. Those are awesome. And then of course you've got all of your boot care items here. And there is just row after row after row of shoes and boots. These are all like your work shoes. This is a very nice store. Oh man, look at all the hats. Oh, I kind of like this one. I like that one. Oh yeah, the Lazy Ranch one. Those are kind of cool. I'm not really a hat person. Uh, absolutely not that one. Do not like Texas. Sorry, everyone who likes Texas. Had bad experiences with it. Oh, they've got like this big touch screen thing here where you can actually like shop online in case they're like maybe out of something that you're looking for. Jeans, boots, hats, that is cool. So here we can get a look at some of their clothing. That's kind of a cool vest for a plain tan. Got all their shirts. This is all like the menswear stuff. Not really my style, but you know, if you're into like the more country Western look, they do have some nice stuff. Oh, wow, look at all the belts. They have some really fancy belts. I like some of these buckles here. Those are really nice, and they got ones with guns on them. Wow, that is cool. I always liked big belt buckles, but I never could really figure out how you, uh, you know, get the belt buckle to show because your shirt's long. Okay, so I came across this, and I was like, oh, look, it's like a belt. What? I don't really understand what that's supposed to be. I don't think it's an extender, no. I don't know. Someone in the comments will probably know what that is and you can put it down there, but they, look at all the bolos they've got. Oh, there's a horse bolo. That's nice. So here's a look at their belt buckles. They got a lot of really nice ones. Oh, I like this one. Cowboys ride with faith. That's a great one. Oh, they got all the sparkly belts over here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yes. So they do have a lot of nice shirts. I'm not really into the, the Western. Well, I like the style of the Western shirts, but the patterns and stuff that are usually on them. Like I like the, you know, the, the snaps instead of buttons. And I like the way, yes. See, I love the, the snaps and I like the styling and everything, but I don't never really care for the patterns and the colors usually. Now there was a place in um, Texas, a mall that had all kinds of this stuff that had some really loud, you know, versions, but. 
And then over here we have, this is the women's section. I'm sure we're gonna have some fancier boots because the women always have all the fancier stuff. And yep, right off the bat, look at this. It's like glitter boots. Those are really cool. And then up here we have some that are like metallic color. Yeah, and they even have little kids boots. I know that probably doesn't look like a kid's boot, but there's my hand for comparison. So yes, very tiny. Oh, and the hats. Oh, look at all the hats. See, my mom always liked me in cowboy hats. She's like, oh, you look super good in them. And I'm like, it just reminds me too much of Texas. So I'm like, nope. I have them. Oh, look at some of these boots. Like this one, wow. Isn't that fancy? Wait, what did you find that is awesome? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, it reminds me of a horse. Doesn't it tell? <laughs> it's like you're wearing a horse. Oh, pretty. Yes, it is. How much are they? Very expensive, I would assume. Oh, I'm sure. In the hundreds. Oh, only a hundred. Oh well. Only a hundred. Okay, well that's better than I expected. Oh man, I just I just really like these spark. Oh, that's really horsey, but I see, I like all the sparkly ones. The problem is, is I'd be like, wouldn't that just come off over time? But I don't know. It doesn't seem, seems like it's stuck on there real good, but their prices really aren't bad. I mean, these boots are normally really expensive, but I mean, $169.50 is not too bad. All right, we're going to come over here and we've got some jewelry that we can take a look at. More belts. Oh, I just love some of the tooling in these belts. That is amazing. Then we've got, this one's got flowers on it. And then of course you've got all the jewelry over here, which I'm definitely a fan of. And over here we have all of the Montana silversmith stuff. Keep your nose on the grindstone and out of the pit. Keep your nose on the grindstone and a heart on the run. Keeps a hand on the gun. Can't trust anyone. And I was so sure all I needed is more. Try to shoot out the sun. The days when we raged, we flew off the page. Such damage is done. Spin the wheel. Thank you. That wasn't even a very good spin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm metaphored to be stronger than that. <laughs> There's a chip clip. Oh, cool. You know, awesome. Thank you. All right, today at the boot barn, we got ourselves a chip clip, and this is exactly what you're supposed to do with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the cowboy boot balloons. And then down here it says boot barn. That's cool. Today is awesome, but boy, is it hot. That was a look at the grand opening of the brand new boot barn here in northern Kentucky. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell Deb how awesome she is in my videos because she's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I will catch you on another episode of Urbex, everyone. Bye.